I will go on. 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 I will So this house is also going to be grass searched, but made of blocks down. But they're going to put grass on the top. So yeah, here we go again. Good morning. It's early morning all the way from Pakwach. So welcome to my channel, Pakwach to the world. So this morning, I'm going to show you our local oven. I told you we live by the Nile, so fish is a very, very important part of our meals. But sometimes, if you have a lot of fish, you need to find a way to reserve it. And we have a locally made oven where you get the fish and put it in there and then you smoke it. Now, when you smoke it, it means it's reserved and you can keep it for as long as you want. For a few days, few weeks, or even months. So, um, we are going to this place because I have a nephew who is going back to the city. And he wanted to buy the already preserved fish. So, I'm going to go there and get some fish for him to travel with. But... Also a chance to show you how the oven looks like and how they use it to preserve fish. And this has always been done from time in mean, Of course, now these days, for those who have money, they can afford to keep it in the fridge for as long as they want. But for those who can't, this, was, this has always been the best way. You get your fish, if you have like it is a lot, you take it to this place and the lady smokes it for you and you can keep it for as long as you want i've always enjoyed the walk to go to the river the river bank i think i did this in my first video and i hope you enjoyed the walk as well thank you very much So these small paths are so so common. You don't have like real permanent permanent roads or pathways where people pass, but these are the normally the common pathways to go to most places. So uh right if you look very very far from here, that is the river Nile. And uh this oven is also not very far from the river Nile. That is for convenience for everyone who wants to use to use it they can easily get their fish and take it there to be smoked now she does this of course for most people who want to do it or or if she or sometimes she even does it herself for business now like like today we are going to buy from her because she always has fish smoked now smoked fish is easier to carry if you're going traveling like from here to the city which is over 400 kilometers from here so it is always easier when you have it preserved very, very well. Now, if you can look very far, that is that is the River Nile. So yeah, we are going to walk to up to that place where the oven is in our language we call it vungu v-u-n-g-u that's like the oven for smoking fish
So yeah, all these gorges you're seeing are caused by running water. So that kind of erosion. So these they can't be filled so normally. They are so 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 deep. Like you see the one down there that that's where we used to pass, but then with time it grows so deep you have to start passing somewhere else. See all these gorges, these are formed by, by running water. Uh, this is alvera alvera plant from where they get the alvera oil but here we use it for treating malaria as well so most of these wild plants you see here they are they are medicinal and people use them to treat different kind of diseases so yeah uh, this is our walk to the river nile we're not, we're not actually going to reach the river now, but we're going to stop by, by the bank where this oven is to be able to buy some smoked fish. Now, like I told you, in our rivers, there are so, so many types of species of fish. I can't even tell you how many there are. There are so many. If I decide to eat, if I decide to eat a different type of fish every day, it can take me over over two months or even three months different type of fish on a daily basis so that, that's how how many they are and i can't even tell the names normally during the dry season they burn the grass this gives opportunity for for new grass to come up and that is always very nice for animals grazing animals like you see them now they're enjoying the freshly growing grass. So they take them out in the morning. And during this type, this season, they, most of them look healthy. Yeah, this is healthy. This is healthy because there is fresh grass. And of course, with the River Nile being near, they can go and drink some water whenever they are thirsty. So they graze through, through all this wilderness. And they are taken to have water then evening brought back to the kraal now like i told you most of these kraals are communally owned you can't find one kraal owned by one person i don't know if you can see the, the river nile from here but yeah that's the river nile but we're not gonna walk that far because we are nearly reaching where the oven is but of course, most people come from the Nile and bring their fish to be smoked in the oven. That's where we are going now. So here we are. So this is the oven. This is where they smoke the fish. Um, uh, so the lady who runs the oven is Rose. Miss Rose. She's a widow who does this to support her family. She has seven children. The oldest is 30 years of age, the youngest is 14. Yeah. She's 54, so she gave birth to her first child when she was 24. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she runs this oven and she's going to show us the oven. <laughs> so, right here, Yeah, right here. Yeah, the egg. Yes, so this is the oven, and uh, the way you see, that's, they put the fish here and cover it. 
and then the, it is basically smoked. That's why you see this is now well, well, well preserved. You can carry it for longer distance and it won't, it won't be affected. So, same way, could be a there in So, my favorite fish is this one electric fish. I love this fish, the, the most delicious fish. So, this one even has eggs. This is tilapia. Mm -hmm. And this, I don't know the name of this one. This one's Katsinja. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is the group of mud fish. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is now well preserved. All you have to do is just carry it. Or you can even eat it the way it is now because it is smoked. So basically, it is built like this and this is the door. This is the door. This is where they put the fire. They put the fire and then once it is covered, the heat will basically smoke the fish and it will be that dry the way you see it now. So yes, she's been... She's had this for over 10 years. She said this is what she uses to get school fees for her children and even to feed on. So that is what I've shown you. That is the the oven, which we call vungu in our language. Mm. So now we are going to see if we can afford that fish. Oh, 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 oh. So these tilapias, each is 10,000, okay, for the three of them, it's about just less than, less than $10. I think I'm going to So which one do you want? Go and say, see the ways you want, you as I'm from your sister. So yeah, now they are trying to bargain to agree on a price. Of course, you must have good bargaining power to get to be able to buy at a, at your your own price. So this is a typical homestead. So this is where she lives with her children. And that is her business that earns her living. This is her own grassage hut. So you see the way it is neat. This shining soil is a special type of soil that they also have to buy to make the house neat. Come here, little Congo. Come here, so now we've made our choice they are parking for us
So we've done our shopping now being packed and we're ready to go. See off my cousin as he goes back to the city with fish straight away from Pakwach. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Umodo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye.